Bulletproof hybrid puppies. These guys are biting monsters. I've actually trained a little bit before um, doing this video about how I stop them, so this is not gonna be the first time. So what I do is I use my thumb, and as they're biting me, I put it in their mouth, and I squeeze down with my thumb and my index finger. So one's inside the mouth, one is underneath the jaw. And I squeeze till I hear a little bit of a yelp. As soon as they yelp, and they kind of back off, They'll probably lick your hand, they'll probably back off, you pet them a little bit. If they go to do it again, you do it again. This gives them some discomfort to know that not to bite you. Um, I, this is what I do, you don't have to listen to me, this is what I do. I'll also give them treats and stuff like that. If you're going to give the dogs a treat, sometimes they like to bite your hands and stuff. You hold that treat in your hand or whatever you're holding, a toy, you hold it firmly in your hand and you don't open up that palm until they, they get calm and they get relaxed. Once they're in a relaxed and calm state, then you give them the treat. Uh, same thing with the biting and the jumping. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you what I do with my guys, biting. I'll also be having treats in my hand and I'll give them treats as a kind of like an alternate, alternate uh, measure for not biting me, like, you know, by being good and calm. You always want to feed the dog in a calm state too. <laughs> Like I was saying, I kind of stopped these guys from biting me because every time I'd come out the house, they're hanging off my jeans, they're hanging off my pants, um, they're biting my fingers. So I did the technique that I was telling you guys, but uh, they, they're not really trying to bite me anymore. So I'm just going to show you what I would do if they tried to bite me because obviously whatever I did, it worked. Um, that was about two weeks ago. These guys were killing me, so I just had to, I, I, I didn't have time to make a video and show. Um, Oh God, here we go. <laughs> so basically what I would be doing with a puppy is as they go up, as they go up to nip you, and they're gonna bite your finger, you stick your thumb, because they're biting you, they're biting your hand, you stick your thumb in here, you put it down here, and you just squeeze. And you hear the little cry, And then you let them go. And then that's usually good. That's usually a sign that they're fine. They won't try to bite you. So when they're little, they're trying to, hey, jump all over you, jump all over you. Just stick your finger in there. See how he's refraining? He doesn't want my finger in his mouth. It's because he's so used, because I've done that maybe a couple times to him. Come on, come on, come on. I've done it a couple times to him where he doesn't, um, he doesn't want to feel that. So when your puppy when your puppy goes to nip you and he goes to bite you, um, as normal as puppy puppy nipping and puppy biting, that's their way of playing, right? These guys have already kind of learned not to nip me because I've done it already. Um, but what you want to do is you stick your finger in here, you grab the bottom with your index finger of their jaw, and you just squeeze down a little bit. You hear that? It's a little cry, and then you let them loose, and they're fine. They'll realize that by nipping on you. It's not gonna get them anywhere. Now, when I put my, my feet, my hand in their mouth, they don't want anything to do with it. Once again, if they're biting on your clothes, they're nipping on your clothes when you're running around, you know, they're grabbing your jeans, you just grab them by the sides of their mouth, you squeeze, and, you, and they'll loosen up. Stick your thumb in, index finger underneath the jaw, just give them a little squeeze. Just give them a little squeeze. Until they see they're, they're uncomfortable, you let them go, and you pet them up. They do it again, you redo it. They go to bite you, bite you, bite you, bite your fingers and go hard, bite. You just stick your thumb inside, you squeeze down. And you'll realize that they don't want anything to do with, with your thumb. This one's a little tough one. This one doesn't even feel that. So a lot of your dogs aren't gonna be as tough as these guys. Um, that's my opinion. So it should be a lot easier to correct them from biting. Usually you do it once or twice, three times, that's it for biting.